One of the main uh, challenges uh, in the design was to get the grain uh, right. The historical part of the city has many individual houses and buildings, with quite narrow frontages. And of course, you can't build like that today. So we did not want to build a project on this whole site. We felt that that scale would be completely wrong. Um, and therefore, we brought forward the project with five buildings and also designed by two architects to get a sort of variety and to try and find an intermediate scale between a modern architecture and the historical buildings. I think the, the, the project um, provides more than just high quality housing within the city. It's providing activity in the streets. We all go to that restaurant or that cafe that is full, the restaurant or cafe that is empty, we, we tend to pass by. People like the public space to be full and to be vibrant. And you need to, you need to work quite hard to, to get as many people to live in these inner city locations uh, as, as possible. I certainly understand my role as an architect with the responsibility of repairing the sort of broken city fabric. The makeup uh, of our cities and how we use our cities is in constant process of change and that change will, will continue. I talk about it as building the city upon the city and I think Brussels is a very good example of that in that it is a historical, uh, it is a historical city but you need to build another city on top of that to, to make it a modern city, to make it uh, economically vibrant. And I think this relationship between new and old can be very dynamic and can be very, very, very exciting.